make sure that there's no combustible materials on the bench or around it. Safety first. And bear in mind that everything in this area is hot. Okay, so we'll change our gloves. Put our welding gauntlets on. And make sure that your sleeves are tucked well inside the gloves. Ready to go? Okay. And now your welding screen. What direction are you travelling now? Well, you've picked up the torch in your right hand, so I would assume that you're a right-handed person. That's correct. Now, for this sort of process with a solid wire, since you're right-handed, it would be right to left. Now, if you were left-handed, it would be the opposite direction. It would be left to right. Okay. There are exceptions to that, but on this instance here, with a solid wire, it's right to left. So okay. it's a pushing motion and not a dragging. Well, Mike, we've got... Direction. Yep. No angles. Right, if you would um, like to get comfortable where the torch you, you think it might be, that's it. And we'll set up the workpiece so it's running parallel to you. Now, if you look at the back of the torch, that's, you've got a flat, flat. there. So yep. if you keep that one flat to the, to the work surface, that's generally about right. And you set the torch back at a slight angle and you make sure that you've got good visibility along the length of the joint that you've got to you've got to weld. Okay then, that looks good. And that looks fine. And you make you need to make sure that you stand off about 20 millimeters off the workpiece itself. Workpiece okay. to the to the end of the contact tip is about 20 millimeters. Does that look good? That looks fine to me. Should be good good to weld. Okay, Sean, let's have a look at the welds. On the right-hand side, you can see that the weld's slightly convex and it's produced a fair bit of spatter there. So what we need to do is turn back the wire feed speed because initially I think there's too much. It's too fast for the voltage that we set. And if we trimmed it back, it produces a smoother weld but with less spatter. Have a look at that, Sean, that's pretty good. For a first attempt, now we've got everything, everything right, we've got all our settings right, in the right material, and the right wire, and the right gas, and everything was, yeah. was fine. You're turning out a, a pretty good weld at the end of the day. If you look at where we started here, because we were traveling right to left, yeah. so we've started off with the conditions haven't been quite right. No. We've trimmed them in, and we've got better and better until you produced two welds here that are absolutely fit for purpose. 